All right, so as you've been watching News Nation for the last several months, uh, you know that we have been all in when it comes to covering UFOs. We broke the UFO whistleblower story back in, in June that led to congressional hearings, and ever since, started really digging into the topic, and I kept hearing the name George Knapp, uh, really known as the godfather, God, godfather of UFO reporting. And if you look at the video from the congressional hearings you see here, uh, you can actually see George sitting there. Uh, it's on the left of David Grush, and that's uh, Jeremy Corbell on the right, who we've also got on the show tonight, so man, are we lucky. Uh, that's the UFO whistleblower uh, right there in the middle. Uh, George has broken some of the biggest UFO stories since the 1980s, uh, so I went and met him uh, as part of our big special, which we're airing on Sunday, the UFO reporter, the George Knapp Files, and we got really unprecedented access to his archives and all his big exclusives over the years. I want you to take a look at part of our special uh, and how George first interviewed a man named John Lear, who gave him the scoop that something secretive was happening at Area 51. I'm eavesdropping, as I tend to do. And I said, uh, Mr. Lear, let me take a look at that stuff. And uh, I said, John, you want to do this show? And I put him on and I just let him go. I have found out that the government has retrieved between 10 and 15 actual flying saucers, three of which have been in perfect condition, one of which they tried to fly. They have between 30 and 50 alien bodies uh, in cryogenic storage. Uh, we even have the name of the uh, person whose job it is to show these bodies uh, to uh, the heads of state and the people who are authorized to see them. They represent at least five different civilizations. So many interesting things we're going to have uh, in the special. I want to bring in Jeremy Corbell. He hosts the podcast Weaponized with George Knapp. He's uh, basically George Knapp's protege. Hopefully, Jeremy's okay with me saying that. He's broken uh, a ton uh, of UFO, UFO stories himself. Uh, first of all, Jeremy, I just want to thank you because you were really pivotal to helping me get this special going. George is obviously a modest guy, and he was uncomfortable with me, like, you know, diving into his life, essentially. Um, and it took a while, but I couldn't have done it without you. So I just want to thank you, first of all. Uh, but I don't think a lot of people who are new to the topic realize um, that George Knapp, like, you know, has been doing this for almost 40 years. And the things we're talking about now, he was uncovering, you know, decades ago. Yeah, I mean, uh, so first of all, George is used to breaking the news, not being the right. news. So I'm not sure he likes it very much when people like Indiana Jones raiding the warehouse, the archive of all the years that he's taken this topic seriously. I mean, UFOs are a news story, and George saw that before anybody else. So right now, people are kind of, you know, opening up to that, and they're starting to see that this is a big deal. So, we, you know, we give credit where credit's due. I mean, George broke many stories, you know, from, from the mob to corruption to politics, but this one always followed him. This, this is the one that a lot of people remember him for. Yeah, I think that's what makes him so legit, is that he was such a hardcore investigative journalist before he even got into the UFO stuff with all of his mob coverage and everything you can think of, environmental stuff, and he just tackled the UFO stories the way he would any other story. Uh, the special, it starts back in the 80s, when George interviewed a man in silhouette we later learned was Bob Lazar, uh, claimed to work at Area 51. I want to play you a clip, and then, and then we can talk about it. We put a silhouette, we created a silhouette interview. He used a suit on them, and out the story comes. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs, uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. And uh, they're basically being dismantled. Uh, some are, well, in various stages of, of completion, built from other parts, and they're being test flown. and. Uh, uh, basically just analyze. So this was really a big moment, right, Jeremy? I mean, was this one of the first people we had ever heard claiming to have actually worked out there? Yeah, I mean, Bob Lazar certainly is one of the first and most influential whistleblowers. You know, he came forward in 1989 with George Knapp telling this story, this account of what he did for our military, which was attempt to reverse engineer a power and propulsion system in one of these non-terrestrial craft, one of these UFOs. So the idea of Area 51 and flying saucers, we learned that through George Knapp's reporting with Bob Lazar. Bob didn't want to come out and let his face be shown and be known in that way. He did this for self-protection. And then I later went on and made the movie, was aired on Netflix, Bob Lazar, Area 51, and flying saucers. All of that kind of walking in the footsteps of George Knapp. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's 
fact-driven coverage.